We saw two great men on this altar in December. For those, for those of you that were not in church, and people are confused, I have one father. It's one father I have. I don't have two father. Forget all those noise. Forget those noise. I don't have two. I have one father. But I'll give you a story. I used to preach in worry for many years. Something happened. I wasn't happy. I stepped aside. But I did not break the relationship. Eight years I didn't step on that pulpit. But I never opened my mouth to say anything. Not even to my wife. Because that man gave me pulpit. When people didn't believe in me. Anybody who has helped you at any time. Don't run them down. When people did not believe in me. I will go there. I will minister. That was the biggest pulpit for me at that time it was the biggest platform he was not he did offend me it was people around you know if you are not careful if you don't focus on a person those around can discourage you if they have a problem with him it was those around the level of envy and attack and when I would tell him I say, sir look at it he said leave them but I wasn't wise enough I focused on them I got angry I withdrew eight years I didn't go there but i never said one word my wife asked me what happened i said nothing only what happened i said nothing are you following what i'm saying when i reached out to him i said where have you been what is going on and i sat with him and told him everything he said this year yeah matter this year yet thing the holy spirit listen are you following me you were in a church and god now revealed ofm to you don't abuse that pastor because if not that pastor that took you to a level i will not have continued from there don't abuse that pastor i'm now with a father i'm now with a man of god i'm not no if you do that to him you will soon do it to me wherever you are coming from treat people well are you following what i'm saying how many of you today are still in good terms with your former landlord? How many of you are still in good terms with somebody you did business with before? That can still consider our UI is everything. You say, fine, sir. Ah, sir, I just sent you an airtime for Christmas. No. Little thing. Bah. You are not, not talking to anybody anymore. Little thing. I don't have time. Speak to the hand, the ear, and listen. You have acquired enemies. And that is what this generation is. They talk before they think. Somebody believed in you. When nobody was there. Today that is the person you are fighting. It's a seed. You will repeat it. No matter how you fast and pray. You pay for consequences. If we want to insult people. There are reasons for us to insult them. But we we'll focus on the reasons we should not insult them. Am I talking to somebody here? I maintain that relationship. Even when the Lord revealed to me to say, Baba Deboye is your father. I still did not break out. I maintain that relationship. That today, you are not in a company. They're your former boss. All because you drive a car and he's working on feet. He's not in nobody. Yet at a period, that bike fare he gave you was what sustained you. That little money he gave you for pure water, for sachet water, for bottled water. If not, test would have finished you. A generation that walks away, that closes doors. When you hear people open their mouth to say things about those who have stood by them, you are asking, you are acquiring a curse. And I'm telling you the truth. It's a painful thing. My father and the Lord met fathers. I was asking them questions about me. None of them could say one bad thing. How is he? Great guy. But he's stubborn. No, he's stubborn. You know the year. If you tell him, say this one, he go put head inside. He said, none of them. Mama was there. I said, what did they say? He said, none of them could say one. Mama was there. We were on our knees when he was talking to us. He said, none of them could say one thing you have done. None of them not one i call this i call this i call this i call this not one i honor them i see them 
I honor them. You have no regard for anybody now. If they had you to talk, as far as all your revelations are corrupted, you don't have any good revelation. No? All the revelation you have from the Bible are useless ones, corrupted ones. You are serving the same God. That's the kind of revelations you have. You all have the same God. No man is God. See all the revelations you have. <laughs> no man is God. Call no man your father. Call no man your father. Those are the revelations you have. I, I submit to no other person but the Lord. Don't, don't see the revelations you have. All the revelations you have are corrupted, rebellious revelations. Rebellious. Revelations that empower rebellion. Those are the ones you are extracting from scripture. No wonder it shows in your life. Check people who are fighting authority. See how stranded they are. Stranded. Stranded. I'm, I'm sure somebody's getting something today. There's a special part in hell reserved for backstabbers. There's a special part in hell reserved for users and destroyers and backstabbers. Mama, inside the rain, they, they carried block to build church. Nobody gave a dime. We will do programs and our pastors will invite us to lead prayer. My pastor is resting somewhere. They say we should go and sleep in primary school. That's where we will stay. Cold, everything. We will be happy doing the work of God. But today is not pleasure, luxury. And yet you want to attain the same height. 